Computer Science for Kids. Part 3. How do computers remember information? A computer is a machine that works with information. This information can be words, numbers, pictures, sounds, or movies. A computer does not have a brain, so it cannot come up with ideas like we do. A computer can follow instructions to do lots of useful things. A computer must do four things to be called a computer. Input, store, process, and output. Computers need instructions from a human to complete tasks. These instructions are called input. An input tells a computer that you want to do something. When a computer receives an input, it stores the information in its memory and processes the instructions it has received. Finally, the computer completes the task and this is called the output. Today, we will focus on the store and process stages. Computers have different parts that help them remember things. Let's say you take a picture with a smartphone. Where do you think that picture goes? Well, it gets stored on the phone's hard drive. Let's take a deeper look. When a computer receives input, it chooses to either store them on the RAM or the hard drive. RAM stands for Random Access Memory and is basically the computer's short-term memory, which can be stored for a short period of time while we need it. When a computer stores information on a hard drive, it is storing it in its long-term memory, which can last for days, months, years, or even a lifetime. Here is an example of information stored on a RAM in humans. Remembering what you ate for breakfast. Remembering a phone number just before you dial it. Or remembering details from a book you read yesterday. These are things that we temporarily remember to complete a task, but may forget later in the future. Here is an example of information stored on a hard drive for humans. Remembering important events like a graduation. Remembering everyday skills like tying your shoes or remembering special words like sight words. Computers have something called a CPU, which stands for Computer Processing Unit. The CPU helps a computer understand and process the input they receive. It also helps them follow instructions in the correct order. You can think of the CPU as the computer's brain. For example, if your parents give you instructions to get dressed, but you do it in the wrong order, then there might be a problem. If you follow the instructions in the right order, then you will be able to get dressed correctly. When we give instructions to a computer, it is called a program. As the computer follows those instructions, it is called running a program. This is where the computer processes the instructions it has received. When the computer runs a program correctly, then it will complete a task or do something that we need it to do. There are lots of programs we use today. On a desktop computer, programs you might use are Microsoft Word, Adobe Acrobat, and Google Chrome. On a tablet, a program you might use are apps such as YouTube, Minecraft, and Prodigy. App stands for application. An app is a special program that you can find on smartphones or tablets that have a specific job to do. This specific job could be playing games, telling us the weather, or playing music. So here is how a computer uses its CPU. First, the CPU receives instructions, the input from a human. Then, the CPU will store the instructions on the RAM or hard drive. Next, the CPU has to make a decision on what to do with the instructions. This is called the process part of the stage. 
Last, the CPU follows the instructions and that is when we get the output. Okay, let's review what we have learned. A computer must do four things to be called a computer. Input, store, process, and output. Computers receive instructions and store them on their RAM or hard drive. The CPU helps the computer understand what to do with the input and helps them follow instructions in the correct order. Computers use input to run different programs and complete tasks. Computer programs can be different depending on the device you are using. Activity time! Take a look at this picture. The process for computers to remember information is all out of order. Can you put the process in the correct order using sequence words? Pause the video here to complete this activity. Here are the answers. Check your work and fix any mistakes that you may have made. Great! Now you know how computers remember information. Would you like to learn more? Then be sure to watch the next video in this series, What is Hardware and Software? If you like this video, then check out Ms. Dorsman's Virtual Corner for even more. If you are a teacher, you can follow Ms. Dorsman's Virtual Corner on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and TPT. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.